Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 27th. We're going to jump right in here, Aquarius, and see what is going on for you at this time. I'm almost positive you had that card right there, uh, the here and now card, or maybe it wasn't you. I don't remember, <laughs> but it might have been you in your uh, like mid-monthly reading. I think you had it or something like that. So I do feel like being present obviously is going to be very important for you. Several people have had like these messages of just needing to be you know present, needing to be here and now. <laughs> so uh, it makes perfect sense to me. It's actually a really nice reading here. Aquarius. I like where this is going. You have this moth spirit, and it says surrender now. Uh, I don't really feel like you're surrendering to anything with this. I mean, the only thing I think you're going to be surrendering to is some sort of change, which we see right here. Ace of Swords, uh, the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Cups here. It's like you're walking away from one thing that, um, uh, is not a, is basically not a reality. I feel like you're, it's almost like the best way I could describe this reading and kind of what I'm feeling. This is one of those readings where I feel like it's just like a, you know, I could probably do it in about 30 seconds because I really feel that this just says you're walking away from something that's an illusion and you're walking towards something that is a reality. For a lot of you, I do feel like it's love where it's like you could be in a situation right now but it's almost like you're walking through so towards something that's um, a much more real situation. Uh, it looks harder, is what I <laughs> is what I would say to you. Magician, he is pointing to the hierophant marriage, uh, and then to the hermit here as well. And so I feel for some of you, it's almost like you could already have a person or, that you really enjoy, but maybe it's uh, going difficult for the two of you to be together. Like maybe there's distance or some other type of obstacle. That's what I mean by difficult. Uh, for others, it's kind of like I feel you could be with a person, maybe married to a person, and it's like you know it's not right, so you're like thinking about leaving, and that is like the difficult part with the hermit. It's like um, you know sometimes sometimes I think the problem with the hermit is seeing the other side. So I really get this energy of like needing to kind of trust your senses with this surrender now card. You have the magician, the ace of swords, and the eight of cups. Basically everything I just said, uh, I feel like you're very focused on a new beginning. You see something here that you're very attracted to uh, with the uh, magician. I feel that the magician, he's holding that wand up and it kind of represents magic. And you know, that's the magical part of the magician is that wand, um, but he's pointing at the ground. He's like saying, you need to take something that's up here and you need to bring it down here. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you see something you want, but it is gonna require some sort of great change. And really that's what I feel like your focus of the week is, pretty simple reading. I love simple readings because it says like, there's not a lot to do, right? It's like, there's one thing to focus on. And this is some sort of change, but it's like going through that change is the important thing with the magician. And it's definitely going to require work as well, mostly because this hierophant, the hierophant represents like some sort of rite of passage, needing to, uh, you know, go through something to get something that you truly want. But it's definitely going to be a victory. Look at this middle row, Ace of Swords, Hierophant, Empress, damn, Aquarius, very positive outcome. Uh, again, that Eight of Cups is, I just, all I'm getting is like walking away from an illusion, you know, walking away from something that isn't real in the first place. Like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like this could be a relationship that you're walking away from and you're walking towards something that is actual, actually real. Um, and for others, I feel like it could obviously be any other situation like a job. Uh, with the magician, boom, you know what to do. Um, <laughs> you know exactly what you want is what I'm gonna say to you, Aquarius. I feel like I said this to you recently. They are standing in their coffins right here it's like they're listening to this wake up call, you know, that this angel is giving them. They're they're listening to what their, you know, their inner voice. This could be your inner voice. It's like you know what you want. You they just need to step out of the coffin. They just need to undergo the transformation. I, I see too much transformation here, is what I would say, Aquarius. And you know, I feel like this is a good thing, but even the magician. He has the snake, the Ouroboros, the snake eating its own tail wrapped around his waist. And so there's like a lot of things here that would represent a transition or a transformation, the Ace of Swords as well, and this card now. So, I, but I feel like that could almost be the obstacles, like uh, making the change could be the challenge. Sometimes I look at a reading like this and I always say that it could be like really good for love, but it's like the thing that we could be resisting is like if we get into a relationship, we have to allow someone into our space or um, maybe there are certain things we like to do. Like maybe we like having a certain amount of alone time. And if we allow someone into our life, we could be afraid that we're gonna lose um, you know, our independence or something like that. So sometimes I get these readings like this and you know, I feel like it's kind of, um, 
you know, it's like the change that needs to be made is it's like, yeah, maybe you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of alone time. But it's like, instead of looking at it as, it as a sacrifice, it's like, look at how much you have to gain here, Aquarius. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Page of Swords here. Uh, like I said, I just get this energy of definitely dealing some with something from the past. So I feel for some of you in love, it's like you could be either in a relationship or a situationship. I feel like I just say the same thing to you for like the past like three readings. I feel like it's been all the same, Aquarius. It's like you're in some situation that you don't really want to be in, but you have to be like, it's almost like you have to move away from it and be honest with yourself about what you really do want. Uh, with this Eight of Cups here, you have the Queen of Cups. She has her eye on the prize, I always say. It's like, this looks like a trophy. It doesn't look like a cup. So I always say, keep your eye on the prize. Divine counterparts right here, Queen and King of Cups here. So I feel for some of you, it's like you could be moving towards a divine counterpart, something that you actually truly want to be in. Uh, next, you have this opportunity card. Uh, these opportunity cards keep coming up mostly for you and Leo, your opposite sign. And I always find it very interesting when opposite signs have very similar readings. Um, I wouldn't say your readings are similar. I just have noticed how that you and Leo always get these um, kind of like opportunity energies. The problem with opportunity energies like this, the Ace of Pentacles, things like that, is that it's just an opportunity. It's, you know, a mountain to climb, which we see right here with the Hierophant and the Hermit as well. He is standing at the top of a mountain so I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you see something that you truly want here, um, but it's like it's going to require work that you're going to have to put in. It's just an opportunity at this time. You have the Six of Wands, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups. I mean, this is like a victory. <laughs> Uh, you have two cards of victory here, the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. So I feel like there's a major victory coming in for you with the Six of Wands. The Hierophant, I feel is kind of like what you're going to have to go through to uh, accomplish this victory. Again, the Hierophant is like the the bridge between, you know, the heavens and the earth. You know, he is the bridge between the universe and the earth. So it's kind of like I said, something exists out here, but it's like you need to bridge the two things together with the Hierophant energy to manifest something in reality. How are you going to do that? Well, again, the magician is literally telling you exactly what you need to do. You need to hermit, which is climb to the top of the mountain, um, basically. Uh, for some of you, it could be climbing towards this. It could be a person, any gender. I don't attach gender to my cards, but it could be uh, a king of cups type of person. could be a water sign. could just be a person who is very emotionally stable, very emotionally grounded as well. I'd say like definitely a dreamer type energy here with the king of cups. But... Uh, let's clarify this here, Aquarius, and see. Uh, with the Six of Wands, Two of Cups, Soulmates, <laughs> uh, I would say that if there's love coming in for you, if you already have it, very strong, very good communication energy here with the um, Two of Cups. I would say this is like two people who come from very different backgrounds as well. You know, the Two of Cups, they're meant to look like two totally different people. So for a lot of you, I feel like you could be attracting someone uh, who's just very different from you. Uh, the Hierophant makes sense as well because the Hierophant can represent traditions and like morals and things like that. But it could say that you could be meeting a person from a different religious background. You could be meeting a person from a different upbringing. It doesn't matter um, with the Hierophant, but I do feel like you could be meeting someone who kind of like comes from a different world, if that makes sense. For some of you, literally. Uh, with the Hierophant, you have the Chariot Distance. Like I was saying, I, I felt it right off the bat. Some of you, distance could be an issue here, for sure. Uh, I, I would say, especially if you're dealing with like a Cancer, Cancer right here with the Chariot. Uh, for others, I feel like the Chariot is just your willpower. It literally just says, it, where there's a will, there's a way. If there is something that you want, move towards it. You will have it. <laughs> I, I, this right here is telling me too many, like too much thinking, too much what ifs, too many blah, blah, blah right? So uh, I would just say quiet the inner voice, go towards what you want, take control with the chariot. The chariot really is about asserting your will. A lot of stuff about the past as well. The two sphinxes on the chariot here, they are holding on to their tails. It represents the fact that they have a good handle on the past. So it's not like you're forgetting the past, but it just say, it says you're taking control of your life and you're understanding your past. You're understanding why you had to go through certain things that you went through. But it kind of also represents leading, like needing to understand that you don't have to hold on to the past either. And that's definitely popping into my head for some of you. A crazy reading, Aquarius, super powerful. 
uh, this week for sure is what I would say to you. Doesn't surprise me. A lot of good energy moving through Aquarius, especially right now, and especially on October 18th, Jupiter turns direct in your sign. So uh, that could be nice. And Mercury also goes direct on that day as well. So that could be nice. But uh, I like this. Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, for some of you, it's like if this is love, I do feel like it will move forward very, very quickly. I feel like there's a very strong need to be very direct here. Like if you're dealing with a person here, if you're in like some sort of situationship type of situation here, someone's got to open up. Someone has to speak here with that Knight of Swords. I just get like um, like just I get like zipper mouth <laughs> are the words that are popping into my head with that Knight of Swords. So I feel for some of you, it's like someone needs to open their mouth here, Aquarius, if you're dealing with some sort of like weird situation chip type of thing. Too much ego maybe with the two of cups. I'm not one of those people. I mean, to me, the, like this, the whole spiritual ego thing is like just, I, don't even get me started, but it's like we all have an ego. We literally need an ego to survive, right? Uh, and all that other stuff. And you know, I get tons of spiritual people who are like, we don't need an ego. We need to let go of the ego. I'm like, here's the problem with that is like, you're gonna get squashed by people who do have an ego, right? <laughs> so uh, we do need an ego. And uh, what I would say here is, I just feel like there could be too much ego in the sense of like, you know, a person could be afraid of what the other person is gonna think in the situation something like that. And I feel like that's what needs to be spoken up about here. This is a very quick movement. Again, if you're um, opening up to a person, I feel like there's an amazing opportunity here, like for marriage, things like that. Uh, for others, this, um, by the way, if you don't want love, this to me is just like a victory in something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. I'd say, especially if you're doing anything inspirational with that Ace of Swords, and what I mean by inspirational, Ace of Swords to the Hermit is like doing something that has never been done before. But this could be like, um, you know, if nobody in your family has gone to college, you could be like the first person going to college. If nobody in your family has ever built a business, you could be building a business. And uh, by doing that, it's like you're inspiring the people around you. So if you're doing anything inspirational like that or anything similar to that, uh, really, really nice energy for you here, Aquarius. Uh, next, you have this here and now card. So I would definitely be present at this time. I'd say no future thinking here. I do feel like... Um, you know, what I would say to you, I'm like an Aquarius rising myself. And, uh, you know, I was born super close to Aquarius. I'm a Pisces, but I'm an early Pisces. And I would just say, you know, I've been feeling that like future thinking thing too much. <laughs> so uh, I would just think, you know, live in the present, not too much in the future. I'm pretty sure I told you this recently. Uh, you have the Queen of Wands, the Empress and the Hermit. Uh, it's like a lot of abundance coming in for you here with the Empress energy. And the Queen of Wands, very attractive at this time as well. So if you're looking for love, I would get out there. I would definitely open up with the Hermit for sure. Uh, if you're kind of like, if you've been pouring your heart and soul into something with that Queen of Wands, I do feel some of you could start to see results. Queen of Wands is kind of like, um, you know, you putting your heart and soul into something. So outside of love, if you've been putting your heart and soul into a business or a job or a career or something like that, uh, the Queen of Wands could represent like finally seeing results or getting results uh, based on the, th you know, whatever it is that you've been working on, especially with the Empress and the Hermit as well. The Hermit can kind of represent you having gone through some sort of trial or, you know, kind of done, doing something difficult to get results in like work or business. So I definitely, uh, I love this reading for you, Aquarius. It is really, really nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, Marriage, uh, I'm telling you right now, going this direction, very, very positive. Eight of Cups, walking away from something from the past that no longer serves you, going towards what you really want. Queen of Cups, she really goes towards what she wants. She doesn't like add all this like extra fluff around it, right? Uh, her, uh, Hierophant, Chariot, taking control, moving towards what you want. It's going to lead to like marriage. Uh, for those of you that want to get married to a person, this looks very, very good. Um, but it is going to require some sort of change. Uh, for others, um, this is like freedom. You know, again, it is literally saying that you could be gaining a lot of freedom um, through education with the Hierophant or um, through just educating yourself on, you know, pretty much whatever. Uh, with the uh, Empress, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. It's like you're discovering new fields is what I would say with the Knight of Pentacles. The Empress is a lot of abundance, but the Knight of Pentacles, he has these empty fields behind him. 
Um, what I feel like this is saying is that there's like great depth to something that you're going to be taking part in in the future. If it's a relationship, I feel like maybe you have an idea of where the relationship is going. But like kind of what I'm seeing, like, seeing is like multiple like fields around it. <laughs> um, this is I, I'm taking this as a good thing because I feel like it's saying that a relationship is never going to get boring. It's like there is always going to be somewhere to grow in the relationship. So I would say if you have like a this, um, you know, like a someone you're emotionally connected to, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, I feel like there's, um, you know, more opportunity for the two of you to grow. Could be an earth sign coming in for you as well. Um, like water and earth are standing out to me. Could be anything uh, is what I would say. This is just a general reading. I would say the most important thing is it's probably someone who has great values just in life in general. And it's probably someone who's very emotionally stable as well. But I feel like there's multiple areas of growth. Same thing in work or business. It's like you could be getting into a business and maybe it's starting out as one thing, but there's like multiple areas where you're going to be growing this in the future. With the Hermit, you have the Strength card. Yeah, I would just be patient here in this situation. Like I said, I do feel whatever this is, it, you know, like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, this row right here really tells me that like whatever you're doing, is going to require a certain amount of work, especially if you're committing to a person or um, trying to work together with a person. It's going to require some effort. But uh, I don't know. Weird. I like it. Uh, let's do... We're going to pull three yes or no question cards now, Aquarius. Uh, we're going to do one, two, and three. So one, two, three. Feel free to pause the reading if you need time to think of your questions. Even if you don't have questions, that's fine too. I'm just going to put them all together at the end. But for question number one, you have the Ace of Wands. I love it. Yeah, you have two aces now. Uh, Ace of Wands, definite yes. And I also feel like there's a lot of growth and abundance coming in for you here. For question number two, yes, definitely two of cups. Uh, basically, the universe is saying I meant what I said here because um, this card is repeating. So I, I would say yes and could be love. And for question number three, I would, damn. <laughs> Aquarius, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, literally everything you want in your life. So this is like an amazing opportunity that's coming in for you here. Putting this all together, I feel like there's something that you truly desire to have. I mean, we, we already know this because of this Queen of Cups. She really desires to have that cup that she is holding on to. So I feel for a lot of you, there's like something that you're really dreaming. And I feel like the chariot is just saying, you know, assert your will. G like literally just take the steps to have it and you will have it plain and simple. I almost feel like saying that, like for some of you, I feel like you don't realize like how easy something is going to be, it, you know, in your life. Um, you know, like I feel like, and what I mean by easy is, you know, to me, I think that nothing, we don't really value things that come to us easily, but at the same time, I feel this is more of just like a flow, like something, it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be a lot of work for you to get it. So you're going to value it, but it's going it, to, you know, I feel like it kind of has this easy flow about it, if that makes sense. I don't know. I really like this for you, Aquarius. I like the energy here. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's coming in for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.